Was it a bit weird then for you when you became internationally famous and you gone from this kid on a beach yeah. to next thing earning <laughs> millions and millions and millions of pounds and I know there's an interesting twist in the tale with that story as well, which I hope we get to talk about, which I, I heard about in a documentary. Yeah. Which, but we'll get to that, hopefully. Um, and then all of a sudden you're known all over the world and you're phenomenally rich. And like, how did that sit with you? It sounds... The, the gales are boastful in all the stories we boast. And I expected this to happen. I intended this to happen. But with the girls screaming was a was another thing. Uh, there was a mayhem. That's very difficult to uh, deal with, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> uh, it was like Gypsy would, uh, would it would say, "Keep playing. I can't hear anything. But the girls are screaming like crazy." And so I got this mayhem that the Beatles and other bands were getting, and that was extraordinary. And then my first song, "Catch the Wind," which I just might be able to. Oh my play goodness! A bit of it when you want, but now, do, do, take now for the crack. It's poetic. <laughs> you want to hear a bit? I mean, this is another one of those. Uh... It's a poem, really. An American fan said, "I played Catch the Wind to my father." Uh, I said, "I really love this artist," and the father listened to it, and he said, "Son." That ain't pop music, I, that's poetry. I can't believe this is actually <laughs> happening.